friend Caleb brought a bike here that's amazing, beautiful, over the top bike. Good to come here and kind of support that, you know. They're always good, they're just a different, he just keeps changing up and, and reinventing himself. I, I just like that, there's no stagnant building with him and uh, it's always good to see what he comes up with next and it always has some class and style and it's not over the top and, and busy. Finished building it last year and um, initially it's sort of my first real show bike I've ever built. Took it to Born Free this past year, took first place builder's choice and at the Born Free show the guys from the White Knights and put on the Brooklyn Invitational asked me to, to bring the bike down. And you just sort of have this cyclical nature of, you know, people not necessarily outdoing each other or wanting to outdo each other, just sort of inspiring each other and being excited about the process of the bikes. And the basic idea with this was to uh, build a traditional chopper, 60s kind of, but using predominantly stock parts that are modified like they did back in the day and then adding my own personal twist to it. And so 1956 Panhead, all original motor, transmission, Frame is uh, 1956, 57. Front end was originally uh, late 40s front end. That I chopped it and narrowed it. The tank is a 50s era Wassel tank that's narrowed and friscoed. Went with this super gloss black and developed this etching idea in the clear coat. Actually sandblasted, etched into the clear coat of the paint. Anything that could be handmade was handmade. So. <laughs> Kind of the big personal piece on there, on the shifter arm, is a, uh, a piece of walnut that I turned on a lathe and then glazed in a picture of my uh, dad circa 1946 or so. 